Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It reads as follows. Don't let anyone look down on you, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. The entirety of this verse from the Apostle Paul to young Timothy, a leader in the church, is that Timothy should not let anybody look down on him because of his youth. And while Paul writes this to young Timothy regarding youth, regarding his age and those around him as he leads this particular area of the church, this also can apply in a lot of other areas if we kind of take this scripture apart and kind of look at it. I had a situation once where I had a hard time dealing with someone and their actions and their attitudes and their proclivities towards me. I know a lot of the reason why they did the things that they did and said the things that they said was because they were hurting. They were dealing with some issues and some insecurities that just sort of hadn't been addressed because of some choices that they had made and the lifestyle that they chose. This person themselves suffered in a lot of ways which they didn't actively seek to get help on. And so as a result, they didn't know how to deal with people. They couldn't process things properly, so they hurt a lot of people. A lot of times they would just kind of bring me down. I mean, they would just kind of hate on me and be rude and be you know, mean, and they would sort of say all these sorts of things and act all these sorts of ways. And again, I knew it was because they were hurting inside, so I knew the reason for it but it, sometimes it didn't make it any easier because I was still having to deal with the repercussions of that. I was still on the other side of their actions and their words. I had to pray to God repeatedly and ask him, okay, Lord, how do I deal with this? How do I process this? How do you not let someone bring you down yet? You know, you want them to grow and you want them to heal. How do you kind of in a healthy manner deal with their actions when, you know, they're a parent or a sibling or a child or a friend, a very close friend, when they're a loved one and, you know, they're the prodigal, they're the one who kind of went out there and chose this lifestyle and they're kind of bringing it back and bringing their baggage back to you. How do you deal with that and not let it affect you? I think we see it in our verse today. We are to set an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. We are to set an example even in the face of the actions that we are then receiving ourselves. Meaning, even when that person is acting just a hot mess to us, we are still to act like God's kids towards them. Now, this love is not enablement. It is not sort of rosy gozy, whatever you want to do to make them happy, to sort of keep the peace. It's not that. Sometimes the love is setting up healthy boundaries. Sometimes the love is saying no. Sometimes the love is putting some distance until they know how to treat you, until they start to treat you better. But even with that, we are still kind and truthful in our speech. We forgive and we help in our conduct as the Lord leads. We are to love them by praying for them and walking in love around them. We are to keep believing, staying in faith that no one is too far out of God's reach, that God can help and change anyone. And we are to fight building resentment and animosity towards them because of their actions and instead continually forgive them, trusting God to make it right for all parties. This is very hard, but it's very important with that particular person. It was very hard to keep my heart pure regarding, you know, their actions and their words and their situations and what they were sort of giving to me. I constantly had to ask the Lord not to have pride, to help me stay humble, to help me to continue to forgive. I also had to set up healthy boundaries so I wasn't around them all the time, so I wasn't so affected and hurt all the time as well. Friends, don't let people look down on you, or in other words, don't let people bring you down. We have to fight that. We have to fight letting them bring us down. Create the boundaries and the space that you need to stay in a healthy place, but keep loving, keep forgiving, keep allowing them the opportunity to change and believing that, yes, God can change them too. And remembering that had it not been for the grace of God, we could be the ones who were going around hurting a bunch of people and them sort of having to pray about us. Set an example, set boundaries, and keep your heart pure. Let's pray. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that you remind us to keep our hearts pure, Lord, that we don't have to take the offense. We don't have to take the attitude. We don't have to take you know, the unforgiveness. We don't have to take the resentment or the animosity. When people hurt us, God, we don't have to take that. We can give that over to you and trust, God, that in your way, in your timing, you will make it right, God. Help us to walk in love, God, with difficult people, God, whether they are close to us, God, or just sort of neighbors or coworkers, Lord, but help us to remember, God, to keep our hearts pure, to walk in love, Lord, to not take that offense, to set up healthy boundaries, God. We pray for them. We pray, God, that you would change their hearts, that you would love on them, God, that you would bless them, Lord, and grow them into the men and women that you have for them to be. And we pray that you would change our hearts, Lord, so that we are strong, so that we are loving, so that we are more reflective of you and your kindness and your goodness towards them. We thank you, God. We love you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.